The stage is set. The curtain opens and a single dancer with simple props is revealed on stage. Think the opening act of Cabaret. The dance steps and song catches your eye. It welcomes you into a story. Garden dances do not need a large open area to show off. The planting container serves as a simple prop that reflects the theme of the production. Here at the National Museum of Dance, the period urn holds a small collection of plants that reflect a lead dancer with complementary sizes, shapes, colors, and movements. These are the background to accentuate the lead. The porch urns are the opening act that welcomes you through the doors to reveal dance history, art, and culture. In a Broadway production, dance often begins with the curtains opening to an explosion of color and movement across the stage. This garden dance along the curb line of South Broadway is just that. It is bright, energetic, and colorful, catching your attention and welcoming you into the overall production. The smooth form of the background purple from the catmint plant brings out the multitude of colors of the forefront annuals. Your eyes are directed to various shapes, sizes, and colors across the garden bed stage. Although it may initially appear in disarray, careful study reveals choreographed formations of the dancing plants. Their position and numbers balance to their performance. As they grow in size and produce their blooms, the formation becomes tighter and that changes the movement flow along the stage. Sound is the first element of a dance production. The orchestra begins before the curtain is drawn on the dance piece. There's often lighting to highlight the movement of the conductor as he leads the musicians into a crescendo that will introduce the dancer. The water feature in these gardens become the orchestra for the season of garden dances. Much like an orchestra, the water flows with the movement of the garden dance. If you stop and listen to the water symphony, you will feel the dance of the flowers make their appearance on stage. The water tumbles down like the opening of a curtain. It swirls around plants over rocks with a chorus of flowering plants around it. Modern movement. The angular shapes and cool, muted colors of the shade garden reflect that of the modern style of dance. The hosta, a stilby, and coral bells costumes provide more interpretation of their dance. There is no strong spotlight, the sun, in this dance movement. Their structure and relationship to one another suggests fluidity in their movement. These plants remain closer to the ground. The hosta becomes a principle in this dance as their blooms become tall. It is much like watching the modern dancer use gravity with such skills springing from floor to air. Ballet of Seasons. The number and variety of flowers in this area afford blooms that offer three seasonal acts. Spring brings an explosion of plants to this area much like a large scale ballet production. The white peonies become the principal ballerina with the surrounding iris her male counterpart, elevating her poses in the performance. The leaves of the daylily and upright branches of the Russian sage surround the principals as soloists filling the stage with texture and movement. Together, the principals and the soloists create a large-scale ballet production. Solitary dance pieces. Throughout the seasons of the gardens, you will see solitary dance pieces pop up. I like to think of these combinations as soloists whose short performances provide them their brief moments in the spotlight. The roses and salvia blooming together offer one of these brief but important pieces to the whole of the garden dance. Preview.